Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a QB core server using Rocket Node's 5M server. The best part about Rocket Node is they have an instant deployment tool which will make this very simple and easy to do. So, what we want to do first, if you don't already have one, purchase one of Rocket Node's 5M hosts. Any plan, depending on the scale of your community. If you want to support me, you could use my 25% off code in the description, which is Cyber25. Once that is done, and you have the panel obviously you're going to click game panel this is the panel you get when purchasing a 5m server from them you're going to click on the server and you're going to want to navigate to the startup tab right here my license key is already in here but you're going to have to generate one if you don't already have a license key. so to do that what we want to do is we want to go to keymaster.5m.net click enter then here you'll sign in with your 5m account I already have it open in a, another tab, so I'm just going to get over. And I'm going to click register. So since I already have a key, I'm not going to actually click generate, but I'll go through the process. So for the display name, we'll name this QB Core Test, or whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Initial IP address is going to be, you're going to click console, and this part of your IP, not the port, is going to be your initial server IP address. Server type, you can put whatever. I put VPS and then provider, I just put rocket node. I'm not a robot, and you'll click generate. Once you do that, it will pop up your key. You're going to copy it and then go to startup and just paste it right there. Once that's done, we should be able to boot up a basic server right here. Sure. Perfect. Look how fast it booted up. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to stop it and we're going to basically now go through the QB core installation. So what we want to do, we want to click pre-made installer at the top and QB core, we're going to click install right here. Oh, I guess I already have a database. Hold on. Approval. Okay. Sorry about that. Now what you're going to do. You won't have to do that, but I'm going to go back to the Premium Installer, QB Core, and click Install. And now we are basically one tap installing the QB Core, everything, the resources, server.cfg database, and it does it within the process of a minute. It's usually pretty fast because Rocket Node runs on all NVMe drives, which are around four times faster statistically regulate which is very unique about them if you guys have any other video ideas for me please feel free to leave them in the description try to make videos on the most I can topics, but anyways, if you saw that the base installed files, now you'll see we have resources, all the QB core, whatever. We have, yeah, we have everything. So once you do that, one main thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to regenerate the Alpine file. And to do that, go to settings and click reinstall server. This will not delete your resources, which is a misconception. All it does is renew the Alpine file and bring back people. All right, as that's running, we're going to go to our database. Make sure you choose your QB core database, which is right here. I'm going to click the I and then copy this connection string. This is mandatory for the database. Then we're going to put that in the server.cfg. Oops. If we scroll down to set my SQL string, get rid of all this junk inside here. And you're just going to paste that there and save content. Perfect. Once that is done, one thing I recommend is turning on one sync as well, which you could do in the server.cfg. Just write anywhere, set one sync on. Now one sync will be turned on when we start the server. And now we're free to start the server. It's unbelievable how fast. Yep, just like that. Okay. So now our QB core is successfully fully installed. What this is running this error, it's not actually an error, it's just uh downloading yarn, which is basic for a screen basic default 5M resource. 
So if you wait a second, wait for this to finish. We'll take a minute. Building all the packages. We don't have to wait, but I just want to show you guys how it will end up working. Okay, so I think now what we could do is perfect. Start this, uh, stop the server, then click start. And now we watch that. And now it says start without those errors at the end. Okay, since there's no errors, we're going to copy this and boot up by them. And theoretically, we should be able to just completely load into the server. Simple as that. Let's see. Don't mind this, it's still building the basic. So, to join, we're going to click F8 and then write connect space and then the IP and port. You could always look it up in the server list, but this is just easier. And look, it's going to boot us right in. Perfect. Look at that. Guys, this was a one tap installation. Super easy. We're installing it on your own PC is takes a lot, a lot of time. This does everything for you. It's very unique. Interesting loading screen. You could change all that, of course. Perfect. Okay. Watch this. Now we're in the basic character creation. This is perfect. Empty slot. Here, let's generate a character. Confirm. This is all configurable, but I'm just showing you guys that QB Core successfully installed. We'll give ourselves a ring. All right. Hey, man. I need to talk to you. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> that is your QB you Core basic ask, installation. You can check your bank balance, cash balance. Of course, you can install custom funds, whatever you want, but that's the basic. If you like this tutorial, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. And yeah, have fun on your QB Core server. Thank you for watching.